Now, Australia is in an energy crisis with rising costs, gas shortages and grid instability, but there is hope a new hybrid power plant in a tiny town in the Northern Territory could hold the key to Australia's energy future. A microgrid is achieving 50% renewable energy, energy generation, sparking calls for the government to build more of these power plants across Australia. Roxanne Fitzgerald reports. For decades, this tiny Australian town was left without power multiple times a week sometimes multiple times a day. Then Ranger, the uranium mine on the outskirts of town, shut down in 2021 and everything changed. People who are new here would notice the difference because the power just stays on all the time. You don't even see where it comes from, but anyone that's been here a while really notices. A microgrid was built using a hybrid model of solar, battery and diesel power. It's the first power station um, in Australia that runs at this scale on more than 50% renewable where solar power is the only renewable resource. With fears the increasing flow of solar across the country could destabilise Australia's power networks, the emerging grid forming technologies like this one could be a game changer. In the Jabiru town uh, ship you would be able to restore that system just with the solar and batteries and that's that's really innovative. There's only a few places in the world where that technology has been implemented. On a local level, with the town trying to transition from its mining legacy to a tourism hub, reliable power is more important than ever. There's now calls to replicate the blueprint across Australia. There's a lot of talk around what we need to be doing to decarbonise the power system in Australia. I think um, what Jabiru demonstrates is that we can just get on and do it. The federal government says it is investing in microgrids for some regional and remote communities. But ahead of the budget, manufacturers in the renewable sector want more support to get projects like this up and running. Roxanne Fitzgerald, ABC News, Jabiru.